Hey everybody, Michelle with Michelle's Frugal Living here and thanks for watching my videos. And today we're going to talk about fixing a handrail that broke off down there at the concrete. You know, over time, just uh, weathers and rusted away. So first thing he did was put a pole, uh, you know, this 2x4 in there to hold it up at the right height. Establish that so he knows that's not going to move and you can see it, it's going to have to be um, cleaned off to do the good welding but um, he took a chisel and the hammer and um, chipped all of that out of there and vacuumed out um, the pieces and that's what came out of the hole right there and um, got a piece of pipe that's the same diameter is going to match that and um, he made it a little extra long so he can cut off higher up and then um, drop it in there okay so that's where we're at so far Okay, so he measured the length of his pipe here, and then he went down and measured to the bottom of the hole and put a mark up there where he's going to cut that off. So it'll be the right rent length. Okay. All right, now he's got this strap that so he can uh, make a straight line around there. The mark you made on the backside is probably a little bit higher than the first one you made. Close is that? Uh, it's just slightly higher. Like when you draw your mark around there with the chalk, it's, it, you're not going to notice it. Yeah, you're at the bottom of the mark back here on the back side. He's got band saw that he's going to use to cut that. So he got out his tripod to stabilize the, the pole because it was really wobbly and I wasn't doing a good job of holding it steady. So he's got it tied to the leg of the tripod. <laughs> So a couple of things to tell you about that have happened. So he used a grinder and ground off a little bevel right there along the edge and he ground a little on that. And um, when you cut off the pipe, which is a piece that got cut off, you know, you want to go up high enough that you got good solid uh, pipe that hasn't rusted out up there. And, um, and then he put this um, pipe liner on here. It's got chains that hold it on here. Um, that's a little more specialty piece of equipment. He might not have that. Um, if he had, a, he said, if he had a piece of angle with him, he would have just uh, attached a piece of angle around that, and then um, to keep it straight. So you can do a little welding here, and then you can move this out of way and weld the rest of the way around. Okay, so this is the other handrail on the other side of the steps, and I thought I'd show you why. Uh, these things rust off a little bit and things to look for and maybe you can fix your other ones because we're going to fix all of the places where the posts go in the ground into the concrete because there's this big gap right here and 
this one is starting to rust but it's still solid right now but water just gets down in there especially in the winter time it freezes thaws you know and causes problems could break up the concrete you know so this needs to be filled in so we're gonna uh, clean these out and uh, fill all of these in Okay, after some welding, some grinding, some welding, some more grinding, there it is. And, um, yep. So, all we got left to do is put some primer on it. And that's all we're going to do. We've ground off the poles, you know, cleaned them up, all the loose paint that was coming off of them and everything. Oh, I forgot. We do have another thing. we got to put the concrete in there, too, but um, we'll do that. So, uh, but we used some primer paint, got these uh, rails painted, and we used some um, quickcrete to, um, it's still a little wet, but to uh, fill in the hole around there, and there you have it. We got them all set. Thanks for watching.